Hey gamers, it's G from the corner, and it's a nice, hot June afternoon evening. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah. What's going on is that Nintendo is going to launch a new console, guys. Very excited. First time in seven years. First time in eight years by the time it actually comes out, let's be real. All right. And, you know, we're kind of, I don't know, obviously I got the juices flowing, the creative juices. All right, I want to I wanna just reminisce maybe about the Switch era, look ahead into the Switch 2 era. But, you know, I want to start by being a little negative Nancy. Me and, me and pro Smash player Macaque over here. That's me. Are going to be talking about some of our, our biggest critiques of the last, like, seven years of Nintendo, which we thought was amazing. I think that this has been the best Nintendo... I, I genuinely think the Switch is the best Nintendo console. Hands down, bar none, no contest. I mean, it's had so much time on the market, it'd be a shame if it wasn't. I don't know if you agree with me on that. No, no, I agree. I'm a GameCube fanboy, I'm a 3DS fanboy, and God knows I'm a Wii fanboy, but at the end of the day, I think the Switch did exactly what it needed to do. It pulled Nintendo out of the gutter, and it showed that they were capable of doing very, very well, even in yeah, today's landscape. Exactly, and now they're gonna, they got, they've, they've built themselves a throne to sit atop next generation, so maybe this, we'll take this as a word of warning, you know, what not to do for the Switch 2, even though most of this stuff is definitely, a lot of the internal gut stuff we're talking about here has definitely been decided by now so i don't know we're just gonna kind of shoot the crap what did we what did we hate about the last seven years of nintendo well, talk you start you know what they say we just said it was the best thing of all time so let's dissect every reason why it was dog shit why it was terrible so, the first thing i didn't like and i was talking to g from the corner about this right before we hit record the concept of the Nintendo Switch shop is something that just makes me want to cry. Because in hindsight, like, just think about it. It's like the 3DS shop. I, I had no complaints about it. We wear, for being so old, I would say it's probably still better organized than this. It, n nice phone notification. Nice phone. We, we love that. We, we love, love that. The we professionalism. That. I know. I, yeah. But yeah, so it, it just, it doesn't load properly. The UI needs work. They've updated it like twice once for Mario and then what else? Like the, That was it. It was really They updated more... it twice for Mario actually. Oh my god. They did the anniversary and they had an anniversary stuff plaster and then when the movie was coming out and when Wonder was coming out, they just took like the same color and put like different outlines of Mario on it. That's hilarious. But yeah, so like just for and for how much Nintendo really is like pushing digital sales, like digital pre orders, yeah. Everything. It's mm -hmm. like I, I would think they'd invest more into that infrastructure. And, like, I, I think you agree. It's like, Oh, no, 100%. Even something as simple as do If they had done, like, 10 or 20 of those Mario-esque, like, rebrands, like, something. let's say when Scarlet and Violet came out, they had, like, Pokeballs. a Pokemon-themed one, and, like, it was orange and purple. Let's say Splatoon, when Splatoons were coming out, you know, when Kirby games were coming out, when Tears of the Kingdom was coming out. I'm shocked we never got one for that. That was such a big deal, but... Yeah, no, they always kind of just, like, kept it as is. They did a Mario thing for the big celebration. That was it. No music, which part of me... I want to say I get it, but honestly, like, how hard is it to have an MP3 That's player the in the background, right? It's not like any of these are absolute deal breakers. We're both Switch owners. You're a double Switch owner. You've mm -hmm. owned two Switches. We bought a lot of Nintendo games, but a lot of time. I've been on that eShop for been on that e than I have Literally, e -shop. we spend time just looking at the deals, looking at the games that came out. So it's not like any of the things mentioned now or later in the video are deal breakers. But it's like, on the topic of music, how long, how hard is it for you just, like, make... I'm know. sure there will be ne either there will be next time or there will be ambient ambience and it'll be built into something. the home menu like yes, something sir. like that next time. Um, another thing, I, I one thing that I will say this is like I, it's funny that I'm jumping to the defense as we're trying to kind of come up with critiques. I will say I was I went on the 3ds eShop recently before it shut down last year. It is so slow. It is actually not, maybe not just as slow. It's not as unpolished because it's got music playing in yeah. the background. It's actually, it's got like little cartridge icons for each of the games. You know, there's more animation to it than the Switch one, but it still takes a while to load. But again, it has an excuse. It's like 12, what, 12 year old hardware? Exactly. Like the the switch like wasn't the wii u e shop like a lot better in it was still of, like, pretty experience? slow it was still slow in the same way but again like again it just had more going on like we've really traded like i, I guess it load does it load no it doesn't even load that fast if it's a critique real. that we both agree with i doubt it loads fast enough for us to care yeah exactly for how like, much they cut out in the personality loss yeah no literally and nintendo's entire brand is personality yeah that i think that's the one thing you know this whole like e-shop ui discussion leads into like another i forgot to mention this but this is like 
my absolute least favorite thing about navigating the switch like period whenever you open up a damn online menu and it's like the game just doesn't exist and you're going through like the same it's the same exact basic menu you know what i'm talking about yeah, like, you go when on, like you, the well, smash bros news, yeah pokemon scarlet violet competitive news um or you go download dlc you go to download something. dlc you go to the nintendo switch online like app on the home menu which is a whole nother can of worms right like it's just so barren and lifeless i feel like i'm being j- jerked out of the game and Poorly it's like integrated is the it's very poor and it's integrated. slow and yeah. it's so slow yeah like it's so nintendo's ui this generation like it tries to be sleek and sometimes it works but then there's just not the correct kind of integration right like i was playing the paper mario the thousand year door remake that just came out a great game a few weeks ago amazing game um and you know at one point you get to name a yoshi character and what happens when you get to this point is that it pulls up like the generic switch keyboard and you type in the name right then later in the game it pulls up its own keyboard that's actually for this one part and it's like okay well that was this one part where you're you don't have access to a certain letter and the whole point is that you have to go and get that letter to be able to type and you get to try it again once you have the letter and that's in the keyboard you obviously can't do that with the switch keyboard yeah no you can you could just gray it out yeah but like Fine, no, but yeah. whatever first of all they should have just used the one in game for that then it's not like some games are alert. animal crossing never uses the actual switch keyboard all right actually it does it uses it for the dodo ids completely it uses random. It, like random. for some reason like for some reason it's not like an id select section you use it for the dodo ids but not the dream address ids or at least i don't actually know you do use it for the dream address id it's really throwing on nintendo knowledge and like then that. like and then the best is later in the game, at the end of the game, there's an area where you're just supposed to guess a passcode. There's no do hickory at the keyboard, and it uses the in-game keyboard instead of the Switch one. Like, it's... Yeah, no, it's just... It's UI inconsistency, especially because, again, Nintendo's all personality. Speaking of personality, on and I think the last thing we have to mention on the Switch's UI as a whole. And I know we said they probably just meant to uh, put color options themes. Themes are very funny. So here's the thing. I feel like, I mean, all they wanted was a light and dark mode here, really. But like, why did they not just add colors in the future? It's so simple. Flat colors. Flat colors, JPEGs, because obviously these are all PNG assets. You could just throw in a JPEG of Mario or Link from Odyssey or Breath of the Wild or whatever. Like, you know, without any sort of with nothing really like there doesn't have to be like a big any music or sound effect. i mean you could put in sound effects let's be real they have sound effects on the switch ui but you know they could have done that they could have charged people two bucks for it i don't know why they never bothered they could have charged people a dollar for you know the sound effects you get by pressing the bumpers or the shoulder buttons they could have charged people yeah, a dollar, a, a for, dollar new for, for, for those new ones to those or make it so like the honking noise for example is on everything on your menu just change the sfx yeah it's so again it's so weird how they never did these things and it's i but think the, the 3ds reason, they did all the of these. reason why i think we expected it after like launch was probably because with the 3ds it didn't launch with themes it launched with just the generic white theme and then in 2014 like three and a half years later they decide okay actually it has themes now so by like 2021 everybody's like okay it's do or die now right and after that after that i I have not thought about actually them actually putting themes and they put folders in though way later yeah than i thought they would and honestly i like how they did it to where it's not like a clock it's clogging up an icon on the thing you just pull up your folders and then all your folders are there so it's like hey if we're hanging out and we want to play a jackbox i don't have to scroll through like 90 games i just press the l you button have 90 games probably have 90 games yeah no. um and i just have to press the l button and go to the jackbox folder and there you go there's all of them yeah and another thing with these is that like all these ui things i hope nintendo fixes most of these and i think it's very obvious shortcomings that they know it's like they know like remember when the the eShop and downloading Crash when Joker came out, it didn't happen again. Yeah. Like, it was such like that, an obvious pitfall. Yeah, exactly. I'm just... Some of these things, I'm just more so sad because... I feel like they might not have the chance to do them again. The themes specifically, every storefront, well, all the other guys are kind of moving away from themes. Like, okay, the PlayStation 4, it had a bunch of downloadable themes. They were all really cool. But on the PS5, whenever you hover over a game or an icon, it immediately changes the background of the system to that thing. I think that's okay, but Nintendo just implement that. Nintendo didn't do either, and that's what made me sad. Yeah, I guess. I think Nintendo will probably just do I think that's what's going to probably happen with the next console. I'd be okay with that. I feel like the next console will have atmosphere, but part of me is like, how much do i need that i don't even have the atmosphere audio on on the ps5 anyway because i'm usually on voice chat with friends on the home menu and what's and the- that's another thing oh voice chat. That's I, I, whole- I actually forgot about that i mean it's, all, it's all online in general Nintendo so when the switch first came out 
online was free. It was like any other Nintendo console, but Nintendo said, you know what, man? Microsoft's been doing it forever. Sony's been doing it since last generation. It's about time. Give us money and you'll get your shit online. All right. Um, and it now, was shit. It, it was shit. Now, uh, the one thing I'll give them is the price is fine. It's like yeah. 25 It's as opposed to PlayStation's 110 Canadian dollars a uh. year. It's like 25 bucks a year. And you get like a bunch of old ass games, which I mean, like at first, newer ass games at first I was like, oh, but like, what about my virtual console? But then I was like, well, actually, the, now I just have the value of like what would probably be two, three hundred dollars of virtual console games for like 20 bucks a year. And that's that's honestly way better. They have the expensive tier if you really want to get the the crazy good shit. But like with the basic tier, it's like okay, whatever, it's fine. That's the price I would honestly pay for just those classic games. But, but it, it's it's the anchor to the online. Now You're here's not my problem. For that. That's my problem. You don't actually like. What if I don't want to pay the expensive ass shit tier, the the tier that I happen to pay for the N sixty four games? Mm-hmm. How do you get them on your Switch? That's it. That's the but only. That, way. But that's the problem. Just provide options. I I feel like especially because we talked about this before. Nintendo has the ability just to kill everyone this generation. Oh yeah, Quite no, they. Late, but Microsoft. I think the, they will. I think they genuinely. The market will. share, no, not like company dollars. Yeah, no, they, they genuinely. There genuinely is no world I see where like we go into the end of next year and everybody's looking at Sony and Microsoft and are like, oh, they're doing so much better than nintendo right now no. unless like nintendo literally shits the bed harder than possible and rockstar says we are never bringing gta 6 to pc like that's the only world but that's, <laughs> that's not happening yeah i know but yeah so that's the main thing it's like nintendo if you're going to charge us for the online which is fine i actually don't have a giant thing with it just don't make it the same free service that was the like the quality so of the bad, online man. play so no bad. voice chat no rollback and obviously that's like a game to game issue voice but chat like, but like no voice, voice chat, chat on the system chat. you know it's funny because back in 2017 i didn't really care about that and honestly there's like a part of me that still doesn't care i'll just use apps like discord i know but the something. option how i've met some of my best friends online mm. and that's you know changed the directory of my life imagine if our people were able to do that without having to get discord or like just the option because you could easily turn that oh, no, off 100 percent. that's the thing right? the option should be there i feel like it's more to in my mind the only reason i'd be like i don't really care much for it is it's more to shove into the controllers and that's gonna cost they shove it into the but they're apparently gonna have microphones anyway according to like i don't know leaks and shit so you know we'll see what happens i guess yeah no i completely get it. now on the topic of video games regardless if it's game schedules game content game update cycles or the quality of the game in general do you have anything nintendo did this generation that really cheesed you or something that you hope and pray that it's not gonna happen next generation sorry game wise or non-game wise game wise game wise okay so i'm gonna be honest like I mean, yeah, it's like the th- the free post-launch multiplayer game fiasco of like every single Mario sports game and other kind of similar Horrible games. Horrible I don't trend. understand. Like, okay, so Splatoon comes out in 2015 and it's a fantastic game. And they do this thing where the game is only 10% complete at launch, but they keep adding shit every week. I bought, I got the game at launch. And then like the following Monday, they're like, oh, by the way, there's a new weapon in stage out. And I'm like, what? Yo, that's crazy. Also ranked modes are unlocked. What? They kept adding stuff all the time so frequently right same and with splatoon so, 2 same with splatoon yeah let's say yeah same as we're jumping ahead a little bit but yeah same with splatoon 2 they did like a few other games with this sort of style i think i think the wii u got like mario maker free updates right they, they did. did that as well but then the switch comes around and we get i think the first game that really like kind of set the stage for this it wasn't the worst with this but i think it, they could have if they did things more like splatoon or if they had more going on it would have definitely benefited and that's a little game called arms all right i was literally reminiscing about arms day was i was like thinking about arms i'm like, like you know arms. what arms was a fun time but man it could have been a way more fun time it could have been a fun time that i put 500 hours into if nintendo gave a damn splatoon was getting updates every month arm or every week arms got updates once a month if even they added the so boss sad. character to the game a month after launch and the first real new character came out like two three months later and then they added characters every month one of them was a clone but then the other two were just you know new characters but yeah i said the other two because that was it that's all they added the game had no content and they just threw five characters in and called it a day yeah and that again they didn't address the problem with splatoon one splatoon two they addressed the problem yeah there was arms had no glue had nothing to do it felt like street fighter six at launch and like that was just the whole street fighter five at launch launch. sorry sorry six is six was a great game and you know what i thought nintendo realized it was bad but then uh mario tennessee oh Oh, we have have a way i i I don't care long story short every mario sports game was neutered mario tennis is very slightly less so because they actually added a mario tennis had good gameplay all right the 
know you didn't. They added a ton of characters to the game, which is super fun. It's fun having a very big roster. There's like 40 characters in that game. It's, it's pretty cool. And it's still one there. If I'm going, if I want to play Mario Tennis, yeah, I'm just going to play Tennis Aces at this point. I had some nitpicks back then about like stages and like, oh, there's not enough stages and they had all this stuff in the story mode. And they're dumb nitpicks that I really don't care much about, but I, I do just wish there was more stages in that game. That was my big issue. Um, yeah. So and then, it ended okay. Yeah, but then golf was just like, I mean, like, yeah. I don't even like Mario Golf. I picked it up because I was like, fuck it, why not? And nobody I knew had a good time with that game at all. I think the motion control mode is probably the most fun you can get out of it, honestly. It's that, literally that's just never Wii, any good. It's Wii Sports Golf. It plays fine. We did a whole video on it last year. Um, and then there was Strikers Battle League, which just makes me sad. It makes man. me sad. I only literally that was, that was what a banger direct. They had Strikers Battle League and Switch Sports, two insane revivals, and they both did the exact same thing. No content, and we're not adding any. Yeah. Strikers was Strikers. I felt like they wanted to add microtransactions into this game because they had like this stadium customization where you had to keep like buying the parts you already bought to get that. re-equip that. Like it was so bad, man. It was For so no bad. And then. Then um, Splatoon 3 drops. Splatoon 3, I think, like, they were doing okay. Yeah, they literally just needed to add, I think, like, 15% more each season, and it would have been okay. But still, the concept of seasonal drops for Splatoon, which was the poster boy of doing weekly drops, or, like, bi Like, they literally, hours. Splatoon was great at actually adding frequent content for these Nintendo games. And then they said, ah, actually, fuck it. It's gonna, we're gonna go down the route of the other games, you know? That's just how we do things now. And... You know, like, it was all right. Like, I think that at that point in 2023, Nintendo had, like, a lot going on. So, it's not like... As a Nintendo fan, I was very... I was much more well-fed than in 2018 with, like, Mario Tennis Aces or something. Yeah. Right? Like, it's like, oh, Splatoon's getting updates. Okay. Then, like, you know, new Kirby game, new Metroid game, uh, Mario Kart DLC, a bunch of other stuff, right? Yeah. In the same, like, time frame. And it, it's like... At that point, it's like, okay, I don't really... Like, it's whatever. Splatoon doesn't get updated that much. But as a Splatoon fan, I'm sure you were pissed. I was very and there pissed. Was not there was just not that much happening there could have been a lot more going on they, they could have spread out better but then it's like okay so assuming it's seasonal drops i expect much more i expect better balance changes because we're waiting on patches for the competitive players mm -hmm. for the casual players you're entertained for at most a month and then the game's still a quality game i'm not gonna pretend it isn't it does a lot of things right but during those two months lull two months of lull i can guarantee you the graph of player retention for three and two look completely different. Two is constantly, maybe not the absolute high peaks that a season for Splatoon three is, but like its valleys are infinitely lower. And I think that's oh, something Tony needs to learn from. And I think the worst was it felt like they kept putting less and less into the game. Oh as time my god! On. I really hate that. I'm gonna be honest. Like I understand. Oh, you know, you're dedicating Stick less to resources, but you don't want to. You know, whatever. Like, we just got to get this out because the dev time is winding down. But I'm sorry, man. They dropped one stage per season the last, like, what, three seasons? Oh, my God. Was it three? Was it Chill? For yeah, Chill didn't have a returning stage, right? Chill? Chill had a, sam had a salmon run stage. No, Chill had Ship Shape and uh, Crab Lake. Right? Oh, okay. All right, yeah. yeah. And then, what, Fresh Season only had one stage. It was, like, that airport stage. And now this new season only has that. Correct, new... yeah. Or, no, this is the, I don't know. One of them is, like, a train Point stage, is, we're know. disappointed. Yeah, and the Tony added... should learn from that. So then, like, I would love an Armari to I would be excited for every Mario Sports game and any Splatoon game, especially Splatoon. I, I, you know, can I be honest before we move to the next topic? I think the Smash Bros. Ultimate free updates are quite literally better than most of the updates. I mean, like, that's they, the they thing. added two modes. They added two yeah, modes. They did add two modes in Small Battle. And Field. Labo. And Labo. That was fun. I know, but, like, do you that understand that they added, like, more modes than certain. Like, they had Strikers more modes needed than more Strikers. modes. Like, Arms just, needed more modes. Arms added, added versus Headlock. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Yeah, versus Headlock. They added a mini game. But yeah, so. Last thing, John Luca, like, is there anything else that you really hate about Nintendo? You want to add one more thing? One more thing. I, you know what? The one thing that I just, I would, that would just piss me off this generation. So Nintendo introduces profile icons for your user, right? When the system launches, and they have like a lot of icons, right? They have like a ton stuff renders from games like Star Fox Zero for some reason, you know, Kirby renders, a bunch of, you know, and as new games would come out, sometimes, not all the time, um, but sometimes they would update the app. Sometimes. With, very rarely. Uh, with more stuff, right? And very, like, irregularly. They would update, like, you'd get Animal Crossing, right? Mm -hmm. And then you'd get, like, Yoshi's Crafted World. Maybe Kirby would get more stuff. I remember they had the entire ARMS cast. But then in 2020, they kind of just stopped. They stopped doing these for some reason. For no reason. And then in 2022, that Nintendo Switch Online app that they randomly added to the system in 2020 that looks like shit. It looks completely out of place. I hate it. More UI. All right. It's like, oh, hey, by the way, those platinum points you've been collecting and hoarding for like 10 years on my Nintendo, you can use those to get new profile icons. 
So do I customize it from the profile icon section? No, no you have to go into the laggy Nintendo Switch Online app to customize it. You can't mix and match characters and backgrounds between games, by the way. If you buy a background for Kirby, you can't put a character from Mario in Oh, it. no, wait, I actually didn't know it because I barely bought any. That's actually news, and that's you, really um, unfortunate. It's really, it's really dumb and really lame. Um, I like the amount they're adding. They've been adding a lot lately. I feel like literally every Nintendo release for the past year has gotten them. It wasn't like that at first but now it is and it's cute like i'm gonna go I'm, right now i'm gonna go on my switch and download the admiral bobbery profile icon maybe not use it now i don't know if i'll ever use it but you know whatever uh, what am i gonna the use? option is there. what am i gonna use these platinum points on man like the uh, shopping bag from club nintendo oh wait you can use i thought that was gold points. no they're platinum points gold points are the ones that you get by buying stuff you're right you're right yeah. i'm a fake fan i'm fake, sorry. absolute fake fan i can't believe we had this discussion with such a fake fan i just I just want it to be uniform, and it probably will be. All right, and next, like they've been talking so much about uniformity between everything. Next console being able to transfer things over. I hope from the start they know what they're doing. I think they didn't UI. know. I think that was the problem is that they didn't know if it was going to be like. I, actually, I'll I'll keep it a buck. For the UI specifically, we were discussing at the beginning. I don't think they knew if it would be mainly a handheld or mainly a console, so they tried splitting it like an awkward middle ground for both. Mm -hmm. And then that's why. So like right now, do you consider the Switch a console or a handheld? It's a console. Okay, so then they're pro and that's what Nintendo also realizes, yeah. probably based off like I their mean, install base. I mean, man, who knows? Honestly, maybe because like. They, a lot of Switch adverts, especially Japanese ones, show people playing it on the go. Portables are just the more popular system of choice in Japan. Yes. So that probably is how they view it personally. Again, it's to each their own. That's the beauty of the system. It's like, you know, some people are like, this is my favorite handheld ever. This is my favorite console ever, you know? And some people think it's shit. Not yeah, like us, though. Exactly. We like it. We like it. It's a great console. But, like, that's... I don't know, that's how, that's how it is with the console. Like, next time around, I'm sure it's just going to be more powerful, so I'm sure it'll just run better in general. Yeah. Um, maybe they won't, they'll still try and keep things not super flashy to make things run even faster. I don't know. Hopefully it works this time. Hopefully it works this time. Hopefully the eShop's speedy. I, I, one fear I have is that the, uh, we were talking about the Switch Online price. I feel like they're just going to up the price to 60 for everybody, period. And I think that would be okay if they made it work. Yeah, exactly. All right, I think that's that's basically all we have to say, right? Yes, sir. John right. Luca from the corner. Thank you for having me on. Yeah, no problem. Marco. Marco. My name Marco. is Marco. It's Marco. No problem. <laughs> Guys. Uh, yeah, keep yourselves cornered. Keep yourselves cornered. For some more, I'm guessing. Probably. Maybe. We'll see. Mm. Yeah. Who I knows? Know. See you guys on the flip side. Bye.